The Caso X5KW drone is a first-person view drone that's controlled from your smartphone, all for under $70. Here's everything that you'll find in the box, which is more than enough to get you started. Despite the poorly translated instruction manual, after a little fiddling, I found that the drone is quite easy to set up. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give a hands-on review of setting it up. My favorite thing about this drone is that you can see what the camera on the drone sees right from your smartphone. It makes me feel more confident in this drone than many other drones that I've used. I've crashed several and managed not to break this one during the testing period. I did find sometimes that if it took a bit of a rough landing, I had to turn it off and back on again before it would fly. I'm sure this is a built-in safety feature to prevent you from breaking the quadcopter by mowing your lawn. The smartphone controls seem intuitive enough, nothing surprising or anything you wouldn't expect. It does have some cool features, such as if you don't want to use a standard stick control, you can use your device built-in gyroscope to control the drone. It's pretty neat and something I'm impressed to see at this price point. In conclusion, I think that this quadcopter is great for anyone who's looking for a fun little toy to start getting into the quadcopter hobby and fly around in the backyard. Okay, so this is the hands-on part of the view where I'm going to show you how to put the quadcopter together. To start off, right out of the box, you're going to get these little wing covers. They have knobs on the back and there are holes right here. All that you have to do is line those up and push them right in. And then you can go ahead and do all four of those. And these will help you if you crash so that you don't damage the wings. And then these are the stands that come in the box and all that you're going to want to do is push these down right here making sure to orient them so that the legs themselves are facing away from the camera lens so that they're not blocking the view from it all right and now to put in the battery all that you're going to do is slide back the little camera module and it should pop off in the back slide the battery into that little space there and then this part's a little tricky you have to plug that in. And now your quadcopter is all set up and ready to go. To turn it on, you just flick the switch in the back there, and it's going to blink. Now you're going to want to take out your phone and install the app FV Drone. Once you've installed this app, you're going to go into your phone's Wi-Fi settings and select the Wi-Fi network for your drone. In this case, mine is called FY-C12642. So I'm going to connect to that. And now go back and open up the FY drone. And this is what the app is going to look like. And all that you're going to do is hit that little button in the bottom right corner. And it's going to connect. The lights on here are going to turn off. And so as you can see, this is a point of view or a field, a first person view drone. And so you're going to be able to see what the camera on the drone itself is seeing. So you can see there's my camera where I'm recording this. And so to fly it. Um, it's fairly simple. You just, over here is your throttle. So that makes it go faster. And then over here, it's your tilting. Um, that's also how you turn the drone. I'm not going to fly it because I'm inside right now. Um, and that's basically all that you need to know about how to use the drone.